Hey guys, it's Bice Help here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has yet released another beta for iOS 15. As expected, Apple today released iOS 15 developer beta 5. So that means Apple continues on a two weeks release schedule for new betas for iOS 15, but that could be changing here soon. We'll get to some of the details of what's new with the latest beta. Now, something interesting also happened today because Apple did not update macOS Monterey. So that has yet been updated, at least as to the filming of this video they have not released a new beta for that of course ios 15 developer beta is out right now public beta testers you should see this a little later today at the latest maybe tomorrow ipad os 15 beta 5 is out but interestingly enough apple did not release watch os 8 beta 5 so no watch os no monterey update either so it's something interesting here tvos did receive the update today as well to beta 5 so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at what's new with ios 15 developer beta 5 now this one came in at approximately one one gigabyte from beta 4 to beta 5 now i do have another iphone here for comparison purposes so we can take a look at some of the key differences here within the software so the first thing i want to talk about is a few splash screens apple uh, updated the splash screens for the app store here is a location service splash screen letting me know that the app store continues to use my location and that i can adjust those settings by managing the settings for the app store location services right here and then it's telling me here that pretty much applications based on location and ads or being displayed in the app store because those settings are enabled as of right now now there's also a splash screen for the photos application just kind of briefly explaining what's new within the photos application as you can see right here share with you memories and so much more we have another new splash screen here for the home application as well right here home keys has now been enabled with beta 5 i'll take a look at that deeply in my follow-up video i'll talk about that we also have uh, siri enabled within accessories and we have home kid security videos so apple has added the splash screen here for the home application now we also see a new one here for the podcast application as well if you listen to podcasts shared with you within messages it's now enabled for podcasts as well and another one for the maps application so about five new splash screens were added today within the latest beta 5 interesting five splash screens in beta 5 anyway let's go ahead and take a look at some of the key differences one thing i want to take a look at is the weather icon now i've been looking at this weather icon for quite some time and i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but i believe there's a new weather icon it just looks slightly darker again this is beta 4 and this is beta 5 i want you to take a look at the icon i'm not sure if the camera will do it justice the one in beta 5 is slightly darker so let's go ahead and put the brightness just pretty much about the same 10 percent brightness take a look at that so i think the weather icon is slightly darker on the new beta now i've changed the wallpapers to see if the background had anything to do with it but no it just seems like there's a slightly darker weather icon in beta 5 now if you do download the software and you have something to compare it to i would like to hear from you in those comments down below but i'm pretty sure that icon is darker it just looks different to me in beta 5 but anyway let's go ahead and continue looking at some of the latest new features and changes here if we head on over to settings and click on erase iphone we also have a new screen here for this particular category it just breaks down everything a lot better you have the find my network enabled lock devices that are locked to the network and also the wallet extension has also been added to erasing your iphone so when you go to erase your iphone not only do you get the apps and data and the apple id stuff but now you get the find my and the apple wallet information here as well now something minor within widgets i don't know if you guys can see that take a look at the add widget right there you see it this one is round and this was sort of squared out a little larger as you can see right there so minor refinements within this category as well so one thing i do want to mention that's also different is within control center so now in control center there's a few things that are different number one if you long press on the low power mode you now get this pop-up menu right here for selecting low power mode just like so now previously that wasn't possible so if we click here it just enables low power mode nothing happens so we get a new menu within the control center and there's also new icons so if we take a look here take a close look here at the sound recognition icon is slightly different there on the latest beta so you can see that there's minor refinements 
within the software. Also, the announced notification icon for AirPods is also changed as well. So new icons, new haptic touch for uh, low power mode within the latest beta, just minor refinements within the software and minor icon changes within the software as well. Now there's also some changes to the focus. As I mentioned, focus is something that Apple will continue to tamper with until the official final release. If we click on do not disturb here, we now get the do not disturb toggle on top right there where it says allowed our notifications. We now have got that new toggle back for do not disturb enabling directly within focus. Something minor again, but it is something that's new within the latest beta. Now Safari did not get any major overhaul, so I'll continue digging around the software for additional new features and changes within the latest beta. But so far, about 10 different new features and changes within iOS 15 developer beta 5. Now for those of you that may be in Interested. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bill number. I know most of you guys uh, are not interested in the bill number, but for those of you that are 19A5318F, so that's a long bill number. We can still expect about maybe three to four more betas, so about eight betas total, maybe nine, and an RC release candidate before we see iOS 15 officially launch to the public of course as i mentioned you stay tuned here to the channel make sure to subscribe for my follow-up video if you haven't already that way uh, you can get the latest information in regards to battery performance any bugs any crashes within the software how things are looking so far so just stay tuned for that follow-up video in regards to official release i know a lot of you guys continue to ask when will ios 15 be officially released to the public uh, my guess will be the end of september maybe uh beginning of october depending on the launch of the new iphones so we're approximately a month and a half at the latest two months from seeing iOS 15 officially released to the public and Apple just continues to polish the software. After installing the latest beta, I have to say for some reason, it feels like a burst of fresh air, honestly. The software feels snappier, it feels a lot nicer just by playing around with the software for the last two hours that I've had it installed on this iPhone. It just feels like iOS 15 developer beta 5 it took a turning point in terms of stability. So we'll continue digging as I mentioned, so stay tuned for my follow-up video. That's where I give you guys a deeper dive into the software performance and everything with the battery and all that good stuff. Thank you for watching today's iOS 15 developer beta 5 update, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.